So today I'm talking about a P0160 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a P0160 code? Well, it's an O2 sensor, circuit no activity detected, bank 2, sensor 2. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer uses oxygen sensors located on the exhaust to know how much oxygen has been burnt off during combustion. And it uses this information to adjust the air-fuel ratio mixture going into the engine. And it's seen a problem with one of these sensors, so it's going to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And V6 and V8 engines have two banks. Bank 1 will always be the side of the engine engine with the number one cylinder and bank two will always be the opposite. So if you find your engine's number one cylinder, that'll be bank one and then the opposite of that is bank two and sensor two will be the second sensor going down on the exhaust. And some possible causes of a P0160 code, well, it could be a bad oxygen sensor, it could be in the wiring, like an open or a short, and possibly a blown fuse. And so the first thing to do when you get this code is to go locate bank 2, sensor 2, oxygen sensor, and there can be some differences. It's really going to depend on the vehicle, the engine type, and the year, and things like that. So it's always a good idea to get a diagram for your particular engine to know for sure what's going on. For example, this is a 2007 Camry with a 3.5 liter V6, and as you can see right here, it says bank 2 sensor 2 will be located right here and it'll be after the catalytic converter on bank 2. And the basics of what's going on with these oxygen sensors is that you're going to have sensor 1 is going to be called the upstream oxygen sensor and it'll be before the catalytic converter and then you're going to have sensor 2 called the downstream oxygen sensor is going to be located after the catalytic converter. And these sensors are doing two things. First, they're monitoring how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion and the onboard computer uses this information to adjust the air fuel ratio going into the engine and then second they also have heater elements inside of there that monitor the catalytic converter since when the catalytic converter starts to heat up it's a symptom that it's failing and so they're monitoring for this so they're doing two things so sometimes it's called a heated sensor and then sometimes it's called an AF or air fuel ratio sensor and then sometimes it's called an oxygen sensor and the one with the bank 2 is going to be called the downstream oxygen sensor and so once you locate the bank 2 sensor 2 oxygen sensor the next thing to do is to check out the wiring real good and be sure everything's connected and just keep in mind that if anything's wrong with the wiring bad connection open short anything like this is going to cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor so just check that out be sure that all looks good also keep in mind that these are going to be on a fuse there'll be a fuse box inside the engine compartment and there'll be a fuse inside of there for these sometimes it could be labeled kind of vague and can be kind of hard to find and then sometimes they're easy to find it's really going to vary on the manufacturer and things like this for example here's a 2000 2005 Toyota Tacoma and right here it says AF heater that would be the fuse for the oxygen sensors and this particular one also has a relay it's labeled right here AF heater which some vehicles don't have a relay and some do but basically if anything happened with this fuse then that would cause an issue so that's something to keep in mind and so if you check that all out and that all looks good there's no problems on the wiring there's no blowing fuse or anything like that then very likely that sensor is just failed and just needs to be replaced you can test it if you want to there's some good YouTube videos on that so you could go about testing it if you want to first before you replace it one thing to keep in mind with these is that they sometimes require a special tool to remove to get back in and get around that wire and things Things like this it's really going to vary with sensor 2 you usually don't need that special tool it's usually out in the open but sometimes it can be recessed into the exhaust but that's usually sensor 1 usually sensor 2 you don't need it but it could be a good idea to go take a look at it and be sure that you got the tools to remove it because sometimes you do need this special tool to get around that wire and to get it back in I'll put a link in the description below if you need to see what I'm talking about and so that's basically it I just want to give a real quick brief overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the p0160 code if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and i'll try to answer them if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day